Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness to you and your families. Many, many blessings as well. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. And pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror reading and find out what's going on with this group of people that have been showing up in all of the terror reading for the past month, month and a half, the whole community. Okay, so we have a, either this is a couple or a group of people, a coven, a cult, whatever they want to call themselves, that are not having their wish come through because. They are not able to take something from someone. Um, so basically, it's like they're wishing for a queen of swords to not have wish fulfillment. They're wishing that someone cannot have, uh, cannot be content in life. Uh, so you may have someone behind the scenes still doing rituals. Um, the group started off really large. You may have someone behind the scenes telling people, let's stay together. It's going to be okay. We will be able to steal from them. We will be able to steal their destiny. Yeah, no, you won't. The universe says that you all need to leave these light workers alone. Okay. You're not going to be able to steal people's destinies, their pathway, their abundance, their blessings. It's destined for them for a reason, okay? You may have a king of wands that's, uh, that's in some type of contract with a king of pentacles. Now, I don't know if these are lovers or these are two people that work together or they came up with some type of partnership and both of them are going through some type of emotional turmoil because something is still moving forward, which is leaving them in disappointment and they have to go within and think about how it is they're going to be moving forward forward in life they need to take a different direction one of them may want to come in and give you some type of offer just so like they can sneak you or something go ahead and refuse that offer because it's supposed to cause some type of stalemate it's like someone is planning to come in and say hey i was wondering if we if we can talk um i would really like to work with you invest in what it is you have going on yeah they want to come in and tell you they want to invest in what it is that's going on or what you have going on reject that offer there's an arterial motive to it these pe people basically don't want light workers out here doing their job that they were hired to do by the most high and there's something where there's a queen of source specifically in the uh spiritual community like your 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 your, your practice is up to part honey you know what you are talking about the, the messages are 100 percent hitting the target it is on the mark and it's bothering a group of people behind the scenes this is a whole cult or a coven that could have been in existence before you came around or they were established solely for the purpose of taking you down. Uh, so they will not be having wish fulfillment when it comes to shutting someone up, blocking someone's wish fulfillment. Instead, what's going on is that there is a queen of swords in their community that's not having wish fulfillment and someone is about to lose their job as well. I did tell this woman about this because this is someone that's a practitioner and she does a lot of manipulation, tries to hold on to what belongs to other people. She does that through words. So she goes from community to community or she's emailing texting calling someone does her manipulation through words lots of lying lots of uh uh, uh uh arterial motives when it comes to why she's talking to you and that's because this woman does not want someone to have some type of true love or two people to come together it really bothers her because this is someone that operates from their low lower energy low vibrational energy someone is like unstable but people don't know that and she's gotten so crafty with how she manipulates people that when she's talking to you she actually sounds educated okay yeah so 
they are trying to basically dismantle you, dismantle your work, your resources, your options, your offers, and they are wanting you to kind of stand down, but this is you standing your ground and just know that there are beings around you that are protecting you and watching over you, supporting you, making sure that you remain in this energy that they want you in. So it does not matter what these people are plotting or planning. There is something where I keep hearing we're not laughing anymore. This is them. Now, something used to be funny for a group of people. They've invested a lot of money into setting someone up. A uh, group of other uh, other people up, like light workers, they've invested a lot of money. So these are people doing things behind the scenes, locking into devices, uh, network services, all of that, doing things in the system to make it look like you are the one doing something. Uh, trying to set people up, basically, it's not just one person they're doing this to. They're doing it to multiple people. So make sure you are protecting yourself online. Because there is a group out here hiring people to break into people's services, their uh, network, like their uh, internet, their devices, and they're doing things on there the same time you are doing your things on those uh, sites or in those accounts. And it makes it look like you are the one doing it when it's not really you doing it. So let's say, for example, you are... Uh, Let's say you're in like payroll in a in a company, right? And you are processing payroll, um, and there's an employee you're working on. They'll go in there at the same time you are in the system, and they'll change the employee's pay or their their hours or something, and it makes it look like it's you that's doing it, but it's not you. So be very careful, especially at home on these websites that you are getting on. There is someone out here mimicking people's behaviors and their activities online, so you can make it seem like they are doing something illegal or something that's against policy. They're trying to get you fired from work. Uh, there, there's a group of people that's bothered by someone's independence or a woman's independence. And what's coming out is that the truth is coming out about each and every person in this community. There's a queen of pentacles that lies a lot. She's trapped in something she cannot get out of. This is, this was possibly one of the women that was like the head of the grab your pitchforks and access. Let's go get the light workers and take them down she was the head of the squad but there's something this woman is trapped in some type of lie that has come out that she's been doing someone is having a hard time recovering from whatever it is she's been doing behind the scenes this woman could be ill someone could be either mentally ill or they have some type of serious illness there's a queen of wands behind the scenes as well that's going through a lot of mental instability right now confused all over the place don't know what to do with herself it's that whatever these people we're trying to put you in is what it is they're in their mindset the lifestyle so if you were someone that was self-sufficient that is not was someone that is self-sufficient you take care of your business you take care of yourself you know you're very diplomatic kind to people kind-hearted and things like that uh very abundant they were trying to get you out of that energy but it looks like that's what's happening for them if you can see here this queen of pentacles in this coven she is going through some type of stagnation there's something she was planning she has to let it go or it's not going according to plan someone does not really think before they move someone is just really impulsive and reckless and her whole vendetta is to take you down destroy your pathway destroy you make you seem like something you're not because this is someone that's in competition with you you probably don't even know this person all these people and that's the sad part a lot of you like workers don't know these people that are coming after you they come across your platform they see something that's going on you know because they're insecure unhealed don't want to take accountability for their actions in life why they're in the situations they're in they feel like you're talking about them when you don't even know them or because you have a light about you and you do things your way or you're independent, self-sufficient, or you're not out here begging for a dollar or something, it bothers these kind of people. So because they're trapped in some type of lifestyle, some type of situation, institution, marriage, relationship, they want the same thing for you. They're like, hey, if I can't be happy, you can't be happy either. Okay? It's like they have a disdain for you, but they want to beat you at the same time. It's really... It's really contradicting, but what do you what can you expect from these kind of people? 
Whatever this woman has been plotting has backfired horribly. Someone is about to be homeless. She and the queen of pentacles that does word manipulation. They're all stuck in their mind about a king of wands coming towards you to give you some type of contract because he knows you're someone very innovative. Okay. Uh, king of wands, you may want to be careful. There's a king of swords around you uh, that is plotting something uh, uh, when it comes to you as well. Now, I don't know what, what it is, but that's you people's business to figure out. Uh, you may also have a king of wands and a king of swords that's about to be working together to do some type of a uh, ritual. Um, maybe these people don't see what it is they do as a ritual, but when you have to manipulate energy around people to get what it is you want, if you have to lie, deceive, steal, destroy, that's it's a ritual in and of itself because you're tempering with something. You're tempering with the balance of things of how they're supposed to be or how they are. So if you have to go in and do any of that, it is a form of witchcraft that you are doing um so someone may be leaving an institution to send some type of communication it's like they want they're sending in some type of communication to tell someone hey we need you to hold on to this person's abundance we need you to control them keep them stuck do this do that this is all their, this is how dark workers dismantle people's foundation is by taking from you blocking opportunities blocking resources your money your connections family, friends, red, uh, strangers, they don't care. That's how they dismantle people and they do it to a point where it's that you have nothing left and then they come in to give you some type of horrendous offer so they can trap you in some type of situation that you are not meant for. But just know that you are protected. The universe is watching over you and whatever these people, I'm telling you the God's honest truth. The universe wants you to know that everything they are plotting, there's going to be some type of divine intervention. They are on it. They're stuck on these people like white on rice. As dedicated as they are to destroying you, your destiny, your purpose, your pathway, the universe, and yourself, your ancestors are all determined to block these people and make sure that every plan they come up with is dismantled and backfiring on them. Someone literally just passed away who have been a feminine energy that just passed away. So there's going to be another death coming. Um, so you guys just keep going. I know you're committed to blocking someone, but just keep going. Someone, there's going to be another tower coming. That's going to cause some type of hindrance to uh, a community or someone in that community. There's a couple you're about to be going through something and I'm not even going to say what it is you're going to go through. It's just going to be a surprise. We're going to let it be a surprise because sometimes surprises are nice, but it's not going to be nice for you all. Um, there's something where it's that people are upset because it's like they've been, there's something where it's that people have been trying to get you fired from work, trying to get your business destroyed. You may have someone that's even out here like reporting videos and things like that, that don't got nothing to do with them, but because they feel insecure and they are intimidated by you, they've been lying and stealing from a lot of content creators. They are out here reporting videos to say, oh, this video is inappropriate. This video is not uh, following the YouTube terms and policies, blah, 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 blah. This is a violent, some, something, they're some, doing something really meticulous and stupid. It's like so ridiculous. It's going to get to a point where it's that there's going to be some type of investigation going on by the platform to see where all of these reports are coming from. And it's going to be another problem. Like if they think they are in some type of hot water right now, it's about to get worse. Absolutely worse. Okay. So you have a queen of pentacles that's going to be sending, like this woman is leaving her community to go and send some type of communication to uh, talk to someone about what well, controlling some type of uh, con connection between two people. She wants to keep two people from meeting, right? This is why we have this four of pentacles and the six of cups. She's trying to keep two people from meeting, two people from connecting. It's going to backfire. This is someone that's just desperate out here. I'm telling you, she's trying to keep two people from meeting trying to keep two people from moving on with their lives. And someone is going to have a front row seat when it's time for two people to move on with their life. She's going to be sitting right there and watching you two move. So this isn't something I will worry about. This is her energy right now. This is what they want you to be in, but this is not your energy. This is them, okay? Because something they keep doing keeps backfiring and you are still insured your new beginnings. You have endless possibilities. Look at that. Endless possibilities, offers, opportunities coming your way. This is what I'm telling you. It's growth upon growth upon growth. You will be receiving some type of communication. This is how the universe destined everything to play out. So I don't know what these people think is going to happen. I'm telling you, things will be balanced out. Karma is playing out. 
there's karma playing out. So every lie these people told about you, every deceit, every defamation, slender, um, every trick in the book that they did everything is being balanced out your character is being seen for what it is there's nothing these people can do to block that it's like you know how people do something for a long time and they are causing imbalances in the system or the vibration whatever it is that can that can only go on for so long until the universe say okay you know what i'm tired of all of this it's time to balance this sucker out balanced so they bring balance into it. So that's what's going on now. These people have been lying about a queen of pentacles. You, you are a queen of swords, queen of pentacles. You are an empress. So you are embodying every aspect of yourself per the situation. So they've been lying about you a lot, trying to keep, uh, trying to have you trapped in something that you can never be trapped in because the universe has not destined you for that scenario. Something is just playing out like it's supposed to. And I don't think people understand that. They have been lying about you, trying to keep you stuck, saying that you're someone very toxic, very karmic. You do rituals, you do voodoo, blah, 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 blah. You're into three-way activities. You are out here selling SEX, all kinds of stuff. You go both ways. They've told all the lies they can tell in the world, but something is not sticking, right? So now what the universe is doing is stepping in and balancing something out. It's that we've had enough of this nonsense. You all know we've already told you. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. You don't want to listen. So you know what? We're going to start dismantling everything you have. Your resources, your foundation. Two people are about to be homeless. A queen of swords and a queen of pentacles. About to lose everything. So while and someone is about to be divorced as well. Or they're going through a divorce right now. So while you are leaving your community to go and gossip about someone send some type of communication about how we need to keep these two from coming together we need to block these two from coming from um getting married uh, blah 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 it's very dangerous for them to come together she's a hookah he's a this they don't need to be together she's a danger to him he doesn't know that we're looking out for him girl stop it it's all out of jealousy that's all you need to be saying don't be coming over there with all those uh interesting choice of words someone knows how to play with people mental to the point where it looks that she's actually working with you when the whole time she's bribing people and doing things behind the scenes collaborating against you so this is someone that comes in your energy and makes it seem like they are your partner in crime but the whole time they're collaborating against you and everybody else in the situation because this is uh every uh every man for themselves but you know what since we have to see him go to take this person down that we are all jealous and envious of let's go ahead and come together so we can get them to move on from their uh, calling their destination and they can make a different decision it ain't happening you all can be can keep choosing to try to uh, block someone's or stop someone's uh, offers from coming in it ain't gonna work this is why you all are the ones that are in this energy here fighting conflicted in anxiety and everything because you know someone is moving forward in life they're going moving forward victoriously and quickly and will be having wish fulfillment. We'll be healing people in the world. They do know their purpose and whoever you're trying to block from seeing the truth, whether it's the community, the spiritual community, they know the truth, right? Someone knows the truth. I'm telling you, okay? They are aware. And anybody trying to come towards them to give them some type of offer, this is the energy you're going to be met with. You're not friends, they want to tell you. That sister said, that brother said, we ain't friends. I don't know you like that. I don't care what you have to say. Keep your sorries to yourself, okay? You got a queen of, of cups in here that is worried and burdened. This is the one that's been working uh, over time to block two people from coming together. She's obsessed with two people, a masculine and a feminine that will be coming together she's upset because this man refused some type of offer from her she may have maybe offered her body to him or maybe they were in a relationship before and she doesn't want him moving on so maybe she went and offered something to him and he will turn her down because he wants to have a new beginning in victory right moving forward fast and quickly right into genuine love true love and you know awaken go through some type of awakening or complete his awakening so he's keeping his distance from this group of people this collaboration is over people will have to move on take different make different choices but i'm telling you defeating someone is not 
It's not what you think it is because it's like they want to play with your energy and make it seem like you don't know what you're doing. You're confused all over the place. You're a clown, but you keep showing up in this energy and you have taken charge and authority of your life, which is what you're supposed to do. So in due time, you will be able to get away from these people and manifest what it is that you want to manifest. Excuse me. And that's something these people are trying to block that gift of manifestation and people don't know how important it is. There goes that tower taking place. They want to cause a tower in your new beginning so that you can be stuck in your head, not out here confident. But you know what? Instead of you going through it, this is a, this is an emperor that's about to go through it behind the scenes. This man has been living under some type of illusion that he's about to block someone's future, their life. Basically, these people want you to be stopped, blocked, destroyed in some type of deplority for the rest of your life while they're living off of your energy, stealing your abundance and things like that. And that's not how it's going. There's someone that does some type of ritual at night when people are sleeping. This is when they log in the devices to uh, hinder people's progress, especially content creators. Someone does something at night. I'm telling you. Someone does something at night when people are sleeping. This is the only way they can get victory because someone's energy is not set to manifest anything abundant because they're low vibrational, insecure as heck, easily triggered. You may not even know someone, but your messages are so on point and so precise that when they listen and they watch it, they feel attacked, even though you don't know them. Okay. I don't know what it is these people think that they are doing. I'm telling you five difficulties. You guys have something you're going to have to fix. There's some type of tower that's about to take, take place. You may want to work on that. Um, something is in the works. They're plotting on something. There's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes about two people coming together. And it is, this is going to be some type of new reality that's manifested between two people and it will be successful. I'm telling you something will be balanced out. Okay. So whatever it is you all think you're doing, keep doing it. It's going to keep backfiring on you all repeatedly. Something will be balanced out. Someone is out here going through some type of emotional loss, having to cut their losses. I just keep hearing someone say, we're not laughing anymore. Or maybe this is the group that's saying it. I'm telling you something is going to keep backfiring. Um, they're trying, they may be trying to come towards you to pay you to stop manifesting it said hey we gotta go we gotta figure this out no 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 someone may have like came to someone else to give them money to block your your blessings block your work block this block that they don't want you receiving an offer but you are still in that light energy of yours you're still out here uh abundant as can be intelligent and everything and all these people are doing is trying to hold you back keep what belongs to you they're gonna have to move on then i said that the, the group the collaboration is gonna have to move on it's this mental and you all can be keep telling yourself oh self oh let's just stick together baby that's cute that's real cute okay Keep sticking together. That's real cute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Keep sticking together. You're going to have to let something go and start your life over after you serve your karma. Uh, and again, there's conflict going on behind the scenes. So I don't know what it is to tell you all. Um, but collective, when you take action, like your ancestors are telling you to take action and move on with your life. Okay. Keep focusing on whatever it is you're doing. I'm not saying move on with your life as in walk away from your calling. No, stay focused on your path and keep putting in that work. The, I'm telling you, the universe wants you to know that you are protected. This whole karmic group, whether this is a couple, whether this is a code, a coping institution, they're going to have to move on and heal and find something to do. They're going to have to find some type of hobby, habit, something better to do with their lives. Maybe get a puppy, get a, get, get a cat, something to do. Okay. Because the universe is dismantling these people day by day. It's that you want to play with the big boys. Yeah, let's play. Okay. You want to bum bum? Let's bum bum. Okay. That's what's going on. So whatever it is, honey, that they are plotting now because these are people that just don't know when to let go. Baby, I, I wish, I wish there was something where it is that you could turn off some type of uh, uh, setting in these people's head and 
put it back to factory reset where it's a common sense is activated or something like that so that they can stop destroying their own lives thinking they're destroying other people's lives like this queen of pentacles whoever you are you're not getting wish fulfillment the universe does not ask with you because of the energy you reside in um so it's a no go for you you're not gonna have wish fulfillment no one's seeing you as a star seed no one's seeing you as a light worker because people know the truth you are someone that's very greedy very toxic very karmic you lied about everything you may even be trapping people you have been stealing people's destiny and trapping them in something that they shouldn't be a part of and now things are being balanced out this queen of swords darling you're about to fall ill you may want to be careful you may end up passing away there's some type of illness that's about to take over you baby i don't know what it is but all your little cute plans you're coming up with to go and misuse your words calling people texting people emailing people you may want to put an end to that because that illness is about to take a turn for the worse king of cups baby you about to be out here broke broke you know how I got four dollars in my bank account? You about to have that in there. And some of me just go in and take that last four dollars. They said I was gonna use that for ramen noodles. And they said, Oh, you didn't need no ramen noodles. But baby, you about to be out here broke broke. Okay, out in the cold, homeless, no money. You may be someone that used to live some type of very abundant life self, uh, like very abundant, very content in life, had everything. For some reason, you left that abundant life and decided to go and focus on someone else, try to dismantle the little that they had because you're intimidated and bothered by them, even though they're not bothered by you. They're not worried about you. They're not disturbing your peace, not taking from you. But basically, you don't exist in someone's arena. You don't exist in someone's dimension. Like they, someone, someone keeps to themselves basically and focuses on the things that are in their life, things that pertain to them. Okay, they're healing their confidence, being positive, right? Giving to the world. Someone is very analytical, and I think a lot of you, whoever you're coming after, you don't realize that. So there are things being done ahead of time before you take action against someone. So there are people in here that think that someone does not know they are a part of something. A high priestess will always stay quiet until they are told to say something, until it's the right time to talk, uh, so that the truth can be exposed. There's a man out here i don't know if this is someone's father someone's lover someone's boss been doing things behind the scenes and he thinks that nobody knows what it is he's doing baby you're about to be out here losing a whole lot of money about to be in poverty because of something you participated in and you've been out here hiding it trying to pretend like you don't know what's going on oh i don't know what's going on he don't know I, I, I hired him or I got with him and he don't know what it is he's doing. I'm telling you, he's incompetent. Reach out to him and see if he can do this. Someone, and they could be doing this for feminine energy as well, but just know something is going to come out. There's a man out here you're going to be exposed for being obsessed with a feminine energy. He's out here trying to destroy you, divine being, divine uh, feminine because he doesn't want people to know how obsessed he's been with you. This is someone that's like, I don't know, like they're driving past your house or your apartment. They're logging into phones and things like that, emails. Someone is basically out here thinking that you and them are husband and wife and you have never had any type of relationship with this person. You could be single as a Pringle out here and someone is out here thinking of making people believe that you and them are lovers. You've come together, your twin flame, your soulmates, baby. You're out here single like a grain of rice. Can't stick to nothing until it's wet or something like that, baby. I don't know what to say, but, okay, you and this man are not together, but he's obsessed with you like you two are. And I don't know if you know that. Someone thinks you're their wife. Basically, in his mind, you two are married, but someone has been invading your privacy, and he thinks he's going to come in, give you an offer, and you're going to take it because you don't know that he's a creep. You're BSing, sir. Pick a bullshit, sir. Okay. You don't fold up. You know how I be saying that on you don't fold up before you could even make an offer. And it's a no no. Anyways, back to this King of Cups. So you about to be out here homeless, speechless, burden, distress, pimp down, pimp down. Okay? IO3 pimp down. IO3. 
So I don't know what it is you've been committing yourself to, I guess, to taking someone down, getting them fired, destroying them, destroying their pathway, their resources, any type of offers from coming to them, money, everything, lying, everything. Baby, you're about to be out here on a hard knock life. In a hard, it's a hard knock life for you. It's a hard knock life for you. Getting treated equally. Getting treated equally. You know why it's equally? Because source is returning that energy you've been putting out there for another person. Okay. Uh, whoever that's been out here trying to get someone fired from their work. They don't receive some type of information, some type of uh, a letter. They said, no, nah, we're going to go in and balance things out with this person. We want to give to them. Or uh, whoever this masculine is, a woman is that wants to give to someone to balance something out because it's backfiring. People are seeing you as someone that's in the upright. And you are going to keep standing your ground to protect what it is that's yours. You may have someone that was paid in the court system to hold on to something, block something, lie about something, hide something. It's all coming out. Okay, they think there's someone out there in the light community. People have been holding your asset, your money in the court system while trying to find some type of evidence against you so they can make it seem that you are unfit to have what is yours, have what was left to you. It is going to backfire. It has already backfired. It's going to keep backfiring time and time again. Those towers are going to be coming back to back. Oh, this is what's going on now. The universe that you want to play that game too can play that game. Except we are more powerful. You forgot, baby, the universe ain't playing. The universe that you forgot who put you here, where you come from. So you know what? We'll remind you. So these people are about to be reminded. Someone just passed away again, I'm being told. Um... So whatever this relationship is that people are trying to block, it's coming together. It is being protected by the ancestors, the universe, everybody you can think of on the light side. I'm telling you, telling you, <laughs> they will be coming together. They will be getting married. They will be having an abundant life, possibly having children, maybe two children, whatever it is. Uh, each could have their own kids, a kid, and it's going to be a blended family. And they may end up having one or two more children together. So baby, they're going to be working together. It's going to be successful. So you all can keep plotting and planning on how you're going to destroy these two to cause some type of wedge. But guess what? You're about to be sitting and watching two people together. Whether these are two sw twin flames, higher level soulmates, whatever it is you want to call it, it is still going to be happening. There's a pretentious woman in here that's been pretending to be someone of high honor. Baby, it's the end of the role of you collaborating with people, pretending to be what it is you are not. It's not happening, okay? You've been overindulging in some type of manipulation, some type of teamwork to destroy someone. You're going to have to move on because whatever you've been trying to force to come towards you is just not happening. Okay. In the past, there was a king of cups that was working with a queen of pentacles. I don't know if this is over now. He don't left her out in the cold and he's moving on, wants to be single, living his best life. I don't know who this queen of Queen, uh, king of cups is but there's some type of separation between a king of cups and a queen of pentacles something may have been exposed about her that she's a liar she's toxic she's obsessive something like that and maybe he does not want to be affiliated with her because like who wants to be affiliated with that you're out here obsessed with other people another woman what the heck is wrong with you that's embarrassing as heck just embarrassing as heck Okay, you could have uh, someone, I don't know if this is like a, a wealthy man, maybe he's he was sick in the past, maybe he's recovering now, someone may have done something to this man, or maybe he was trapped in something that he was having a hard time getting out of, so maybe he has finally made his way out of it, and he's taking charge of his life and moving on, or trying to balance things out in his life. Someone was ill for a long time, uh, and maybe there was nobody around to take care of him. Someone who have passed away and left a will for someone as well left someone in a will left them some money and maybe this is what people are trying to hide there's something about two people coming together there is a group trying to stop them from coming together uh, baby it's a whole lot these people cannot manifest nothing you ain't manifesting nothing 
Everything, every every petition they put out into the universe is a no. It's a no. They say you got debt to pay. Right now, it's insufficient funds when it comes to good karma compared to the bad karma. The good karma is here. The bad karma is here. So every time you ask the universe for something, it's a insufficient fund, insufficient fund, insufficient fund. Your debt must be paid. Your debt must be paid. Your debt must be paid. Okay, then we can talk. Meanwhile, collective on your side is no more insufficient fun. No more insufficient fun. Like, baby, you're about to be out here doing your thing, living your best life, protected by the universe, celebrating with your soul tribe. Just living a vita loca, living a vita loca. But we living your best life, okay? This group is not having wish fulfillment. They may have collaborated recently to control something, trap something, keep something. It's backfiring again. Uh, I don't know what to tell these people. It's like they came to, together recently, like someone paid someone or something was being done per schedule. Like these people are doing something according to schedule, as they say. Um, and it was to dismantle someone's work, someone's commitment to their higher level soulmate or their twin flame. They said, we need to dismantle this uh, uh, unconditional love and loyalty he or she has to this person. It's not working in our favor. Once we can dismantle that, then we should be able to intercede, if we can get him to see her in a nasty energy, nasty light, then he won't go towards her or she won't go towards him. Maybe those light workers, those divine beings, they don't care what it is you have to say about their soulmates, higher level soulmates, twin, they don't care. Twin flames, they don't care. They're still going to connect when the divine says it's time for them to connect. Okay. And they will be, they will keep protecting themselves, standing their ground, asking their ancestors to move on their behalf. You or your ancestors don't even want to be associated with you. Because of the way you move, you, you incarnated this lifetime just to trap your ancestors in the dark, keep them in darkness, keep them in poverty, evil, wickedness, unhealthy energy. Some of your ancestors have been stuck in the in-between for so long that they're hoping that, hey, maybe when, maybe when Sally incarnates this lifetime, she'll do, the, she'll do the right thing and be positive in life and she will help us come out of this 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 area this space this realm and then sally comes out and keeps staying in darkness don't want to heal don't want to uh elevate don't want to balance her lineage out and she keeps doing the same thing everybody else has done every other lifetime so her ancestors are just they're just trapped in there and you think they want to be with you they want to they want to support you with that they said we want to be free sally we we this was the deal. Before you incarnated, you were going to do the work you needed to do to get us out of here. Sally said, I don't speak that language. She said, it, they, they need to figure it out. Sally said, listen, whatever you did to get you stuck in the in-between, you need to undo it. I can't help you. Meanwhile, Collective, you and your ancestors are out here just living a good life. Is someone out here, your answers of the light and the dark, they about move the same. But they have clearance to do that. They said we can, uh -huh. the, the dark said, listen, we'll handle it from the dark side. You handle it from the light side. Both sides got her cover, got him cover. So let's go, okay? So that's what these people don't understand. Some of you, your ancestors of the dark fool with you and the ones of the light fool with you as well. When you started your healing journey, they said, oh, I can't stop him i can't stand her what are they doing they're making me feel uncomfortable they're bringing up things i don't want to think about that was ten thousand years ago that i didn't do what i was supposed to do but you've been stuck in limbo in the in-between for so long though so it came a time where they started seeing things from the brighter side like you don't awaken some of your ancestors and they appreciate what it is you've been doing out here like workers and they are supporting you some of them may even choose to stay in their in between just so they can have you cover but honey just know at any time someone tries something <clears throat> okay that's all we gotta say it's handled it is handled okay there's someone out here i don't even think you realize how protected you are there is like a mischievous energy around you but this mischievous energy is very intellectual very crafty like this is you know like in mythology the trickster energy 
Tricksters are very intellectual and people don't know that. That's why they can do all those tricks and things like that. But this energy that's around someone, they're like a trickster hermit energy. And the way they move is so otherworldly. Like you may, this is why if you pay attention to your energy for the next two weeks, you may find yourself doing silly things and then all of a sudden you get serious. There's something about a uh, energy, a being, a soul guy that is around someone is very youthful. Uh, it's not cunning. The energy is very hard to explain. Whoever this is, whoever this being is, is very like youthful. It has has a child like like energy around them. But baby, when I say it's time to handle business, they are on it. This is like an energy to fear. When if you were to see them, you may see like a childlike energy, maybe around four or five years old. But remember, this is a spiritual being from the spiritual realm. This ain't a child. Like someone plays around, they're in touch with their inner child and things like that. But when it's time, you may almost think that they are like a devilish energy. But no, this is someone that's this is a being that's here to protect you. Like there's been some type of switch. In your soul guy, your spirit, your, your spirit being that's watching over you. Maybe you had like a relative, maybe a brother or father that was watching over you, but there is a different soul God that's watching you right now. And it is because of the way these people have been moving. They do a lot of tricks and manipulation. So this energy said, you know what? <laughs> I can do tricks and manipulations too. So they're out here moving just like these people are moving. It said they do A, that's so guys, the A, B, C. It said, I'm the master of the game. I created the game. You want to keep playing? Let's keep playing. There's something like that that's going on here for something to be balanced out. And they want you to know they got your back is what I'm hearing. It said, we got your back. So you are not being just watched by one soul guy. You have a whole group, a team around you, and they are working on something behind the scenes. These people will not see coming. Like something is about to be balanced out. And when it's balanced out, these people are going to end up in some type of deplorable situation where it won't be any way out. That's like where you have to. You don't have any other choice but to eat your humble pie. And at this point, they're so guy, they're so petty. They may even take the humble pie and stick it in their mouth. They said, we've been waiting a little bit too long for you to eat your food. So this person, whoever, whoever this being is, honey, they're causing conflict in people's lives behind the scenes. And you don't know it. Causing conflict. So they can make sure what you get your celebration, baby. I'm telling you, you get what's yours. Something is balanced out. But whoever this new soul guy is, it says it's a bag to one. Oh, baby, they're starting them back to one. It said, oh, you used to have a mansion, baby. You don't need that mansion, right? Sally, you don't need the mansion, right? I do need the mansion. Oh, you say you don't need the mansion. We got you, Sally. We got you. Back into a one bedroom apartment out in the streets homeless okay anyways thank you for watching folks i will see you in my next read goodbye for now